If you're a heat nourishing technician or even a salesperson, why do so many people struggle to get to the next level and find significance in what they do? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Silvan Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sell Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. When you take a look at the traits of people who make it to the very top of what they do, there are some very specific things that they have. And during the course of life, during the course of action, we can fall off. And I want to share with you everything that I've shared here today, I have been through, I'm going through, I've been through, and I'll been through, go through again. I don't want it to feel like I'm just pointing fingers at you and saying, I don't live through this myself. Okay. So first and foremost is imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is all of the, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. I shouldn't do this. I came from this set of circumstances in life. And uh, I just, it's not going to happen. Uh, somebody like me, it won't happen for somebody like me. And the reality is, uh, sometimes we make stuff up, including me. Sometimes we make stuff up to uh, make the excuse of why we're not getting there. Okay. So if you are focused on imposter syndrome, you're absolutely going to get more of it. I get to hang out with some really cool people, like all the way up here type people. And there's times where I go into the room and I'm like, this is uncomfortable. And one of my mentors, Roland Frazier said, being uncomfortable is just getting to the next version of yourself. So shout out to Roland Frazier. Number two, self-doubt. I'm not just talking imposter syndrome. I'm just talking self-doubt. Like, can I do this? Do I have the skills, the talents, and the capabilities to be here? Right? Can, can I finally get to where I want to be? Is it possible? Is it uh, my, my ability to do this? Self-belief. Can I do it? And the answer is yes. I, I will encourage anybody to do anything that's legal and anything that's moral. Those are my two guidelines. If, if I meet you and you're like, hey, Scott, you're like, I'm really pushing to get to this level and be this tech. Fantastic. Hey, Scott, I'm really pushing to this level to get to this position inside of a company. Fantastic. Hey, Scott, I'm really working on my, my savings program and I'll have a million dollars saved by the time I'm 35. Fantastic. Hey, Scott, I want to lie, cheat, and steal. No, don't do that, right? Like, I can't encourage that type of activity, right? But if, if you're struggling with self-doubt, 100% normal. Here's the thing. If you want some inside help, you should definitely join my email publication. Right here, go to this URL, type it into a browser. I'll give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. Private coaching, private training, discounted coaching, discounted training. It's an email publication. On this list is some of the people that you hang around with. There are people who sabotage you and they tell you you're not good enough. They tell you you'll never make it. And sometimes this is their own belief in themselves. And sometimes it's their programming. Right? They, they don't know what they don't know. And this is why it's really super importante for you to have really good people around you that encourage you. i got a note on my wall. I've got four panes, uh, four panels. So three cork boards, two white boards. Three, <laughs> three cork boards, one white board. And on the white board, it says always encourage others to do good. Right, Always encourage others to do good. And I like because it's the first thing I sleep on my, my right side. So when I wake up, I'm looking at the wall. I'm looking at my goals. I'm looking at personal development, things that I want to do. And I get that reminder. Always encourage people to do good. So this input of what you have around you isn't just the people. It's also what you read. It's also what you listen to. It's also what you ingest and, and take in. And I would encourage you that like just write down three or four of your goals and focus on them, right? I, I, I want to buy a house. Fantastic. You should do that. Hey, I want to go on a trip with my family. Fantastic. You should do that. Remember, I'll always encourage somebody to take a good action. I will discourage you to do the wrong things. I will discourage you to break the law and to be unmoral as we're going to say. Okay. And last on this list is surround yourself with advice. Surround yourself with advisory. Like advisory could be a mentor. It could be a coach. It could be somebody from your clergy. It could be somebody from your church. It could be somebody that just reminds you of like, hey, here's what a direction is. So I have coaches and mentors in my life, right? I've got people like Jay Abraham. I've got people like Roland Frazier, Ryan Dice, Richard Linder. There's people that are, I mean, this list could go on and on and on. Of people, I'm just trying to give you like the direction of, of the type of level of people that I keep in my life to say, hey, Scott, get back on track. You're, you're, uh, you're a little bit off. Or, hey, Scott, good job. Pat you on the back. Or, hey, Scott, uh, sounds like you got an important question of something that I've lived through and that I've been through before. How can I help? How can I serve? These areas are where I see people get struggles, get caught up the most in struggle is the imposter syndrome, the self-doubt, the people that you have around you negative. 
and then the people that you have around you positive, listen, you could be going through a little bit right now. You could be going through nothing. You could be going through absolutely a lot. Stick with it. Go with what you need to do. Now, last on this list, I'm going to give you a bonus number five, and that's mental toughness in life, right? So uh, when I struggle, I tend to try to find biographies on people who've been through a lot. I try to find information on people who have really struggled in life and have had a lot of problems. And I, I look to that because anybody can encourage you, but sometimes you like you really want to know. I'm not the only person who's been through this. I believe in you. You can do it. Keep going. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.